So I was gonna shoot some footage for this new project I'm working on. I'm up here in beautiful Amador County where I was raised, uh, the McColmy River. Anyways, I was gonna shoot some footage before I started fishing. Literally as soon as I got here, saw a nice fish, I'm assuming a trout, uh, come up in surface. So I'll shoot the footage later. I'm gonna try and get me, get me a fish right now. I don't really trout fish that often anymore, so it's always nice to come back up here to the roots and get the line wet. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. Hopefully the uh, weather holds off. I don't mind a little water though. Yeah, the littlest leaf. Gotta love this time of year, California. Some of the trees are starting to change, getting colder. Pretty spectacular scenery here. I got me a little salmon. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah. He's trying to get him out of this current. He's a good little fighter. Like I said, I haven't been trout fishing in a while I'm just fishing up here it's always been bass so this absolutely gorgeous little fish gorgeous fish a lot different than the catching a bass, man. I'm looking around like, uh, how do I grab this guy? Cause uh, definitely not grabbing him by the by the mouth with those teeth. And get the release. Make sure he's ready to go.
now that I'm paying attention, I can see some more, some more of these little, I'm assuming they're salmon. They, uh, I've never seen a red trout before, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but I can see a bunch of little ones here sitting in about a foot of water. So I'm gonna try and get the, get the cast master right in front of them. Beautiful little fish. That guy I caught right there was maybe almost a pound. Um, good fighters, they're strong. Kind of threw me off. Haven't caught a trout or a salmon or anything like that in a long time. So I was kind of looking at it like, all right, how do I hold this guy? How do I hold him? Uh, where do I put my hand? One thing I do know is to make sure and get your hands wet before you handle them. Get all the oils and all the junk off of your hands. Um, that way you do the least amount of harm to the fish as possible. Yeah, I see about two or three of them. I mean, literally a couple feet at, a couple feet in front of me. So I'm just gonna sit here and keep chucking this cast master. Hopefully dust up one of them. Just went right by that one. Yeah, last one I caught a, thought I had a snag. It was so shallow here. Um, and all of a sudden the snag started fighting back. So obviously it wasn't a snag. It's absolutely beautiful fish. And I, I think I need to do a lot more of this now that I'm uh, starting to make some videos for the old YouTube. I haven't been up here river stream fishing in a long, long time. Shoot, this is how I was raised, man. Lived up here as a kid. Blessed, blessed to be raised up here in Amador County. And uh, I remember my dad taking me and my brother when we were younger, man, wake up super early. It's freezing cold outside. And uh, I don't think we really enjoyed it as much as we should have. I think when you're a kid, you get wrapped up in how cold it is and how it's early. early. You'd rather be sleeping in. Come on, dad, why we gotta wake up early on a Saturday? But now as an adult, you know, when you get hit by the everyday, the day-to-day -day grind, man. You get up here and you get to do something like this. I mean, to be honest with you, I took about five five minutes or so and literally did nothing, just looked around. Just looked around at this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. It's uh, late November, the day before Thanksgiving in California. It really doesn't get much better than this. try and get into a couple more fish for you guys oh just had one spin around and try and hit it man that's another thing too this water is crystal crystal clear so you can sit here and watch these fish swim and catch stuff as it goes down the current just had one nab at it Again, forgive me for not knowing with 100% certainty what kind of fish that was. Like I said, it's been a few years since I've had a, since I've been up here. I'm assuming it's some sort of salmon or trout, crickets. This little guy is holding right in front of me, holding in the current. And uh, he's pretty hungry. Every time my cast master goes in around him, in front of him, he's flipping around trying to get it. Got him. There we go. It's just a matter of let's see if he can stay on this. <laughs> this guy's pissed. This guy is pissed. Let's see if I can get him to stay on from cast to catch, man. 
This guy is. Ooh, these fish fight, man. And one thing I see people do sometimes, either on pictures or uh, on on YouTube stuff like that, I see people dragging fish, uh, dragging fish onto the banks, man. Dragging them up. They they, they when they finally land them, they look like they're fried chicken that just got breaded. You know what I mean? These fish, get my pliers. These fish have a, a protective coat of slime on them. So the last thing you want to do is drag them through the water. I mean, drag them through the drag them through the land when uh, when you're trying to land them. Keep them on the water. Keep them in the water. Excuse me. Get the old the hand wet so you don't give them any of your stuff and land them like that. Nice and simple. Get the hook out of them. Oh, that guy got it right above the eyeball. There you go, it comes out. And let's get this guy back in the water. Okay, slippery guy. I'm gonna have to two-hand you. Let's get him back in the water. He's ready to go, I already know that. There he goes. Absolutely beautiful. See another little guy right here. Let's see if we can get him to take the old cast master. Found a little pattern. Uh, there's obviously facing upstream, waiting for stuff to drift down. So if you could just get your lure to flash in front of them, they're gonna strike. That last guy turned around and, and struck at it. I ended up kind of getting them above the eyeball, but as you can see, it's good to go. So I can see if I can see, I see one more little guy right here. Let's see if I could get him, maybe head to a new spot. Oh, there's two guys here. We saw another one. There's two little guys in front of me. Let's see if I can get in front of them. Uh, right behind them. Sorry. When you're out here by yourself and you're what well, looks like you're talking to yourself and other people come around, they kind of look at you funny. Now this old dude come out here and he kind of looked at me like I was crazy. I don't know if he even knows what YouTube is, so <laughs> I was gonna explain it, but I was like, nah, I'll just be crickets. Water is crystal clear. And probably a lot more drinkable than, uh, than the stuff in the delta that I usually fish. Update. I have one trout lure. And uh, 
cast it way too far, got stuck in the tree, pulled it out, came all the way across, hit some rocks. As you can see, it got bent. Swivel broke. This fell in the water. Had to fish that out. Tie a new swivel on. And now we are going to be good to go. Cool. Let's go fish. Try not to hit those trees over on the side of the other side of the river. catch a fish on this cast that would be pretty legit a lot of crickets wanted to try one more spot before I hit the road head back down to down the hill there's so many little spots here that are probably holding fish right now um, a little bit more depth right here over there we're first spot it was shoot one and a half maybe two feet of water if that so see if we can figure something out if not already caught a couple today so it's been a good day can't can't snag my only trout lure That'll end the day real quick. 